Raven is a cloning experiment planning tool. In Raven you can generate solutions to building large complicated genetic constructs using the Raven supported assembly methods to save time and money on cloning experiments. With Raven you can build many things with mo many assembly methods. Let's get, let's get logged in. Raven has tabs. It has a data upload tab, assembly design tab, and documentation tab, and a contact tab. On the documentation page are user videos, documentation describing the assembly methods and algorithms used to calculate solutions, how it can be integrated in a larger tool chain with Clotho or other tools, frequently asked questions, and additional videos highlighting many of Raven's features. Let's try uploading some data into Raven. Let's consider the Repressilator from 2000. The Repressilator has a large, relatively large number of parts. This is how they'd be represented in Raven. Repressilator has its name and its composition listed out to the right side of it in the, the rightmost column extending outwards. Let's upload this file. You can see here that this file is now represented in the Raven interface. In addition to assembly vectors that have been uploaded in addition to the default Raven assembly vectors. In the design tab you can pick which assembly method you'd like to use and there's documentation for each one of the assembly methods including the, their assumptions. Let's start build the, building the repressilator with BioBricks. We've selected the repressilator as a target part. Down here we can see a summary of all the parameters of this Raven design. After several moments, the assembly solution is calculated here. Raven has a variety of outputs in different formats. One format is a graphical picture using Pigeon gener generated SBOL compliant glyphs. The statistics are displayed here. Let's now try building the re request later using Gibson assembly. After several moments, the solution is output to the user. And here we can see that the solution looks a little bit different. It's a multi-part assembly, so multiple pieces can be put together in one reaction as opposed to just two. Now let's try building the repress later with MoClo assembly. The assembly is again calculated and statistics are displayed below. 